My god, when was the last reaction video I did? I've been so used to my short form review videos that I kind of forget how to start these things. Let's see if I can remember. <clears throat> On today's episode of Anime Afterthought, welcome to Demon School Irumakun, Season 3, Episode 12, Wish Upon Your Bow. Yeah, that feels right. Seriously, I'm super excited for today's episode. I mean, coming hot off the heels of Iruma and Nephila winning the Seed of Beginnings, it looks like Iruma will be the next to fall victim to Ouroboros' bloodline ability. Knowing what we know about Iruma, Devil only knows what traumatic experiences will be used against him. But I'm pretty sure we can all guess. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into today's video. I will wholeheartedly admit that Nephila and Iruma make an adorable team. I mean, it's the right thing to do. Oh, he's he got accustomed to Nephila's smell already? So basically, he was living kill or be killed since fucking ever. And it's all because of these assholes right here. Which makes me just feel so much more sympathetic for his character. And so glad he made it to the netherworld. Obviously a lesson in not judging people by their looks, right? Don't judge a book by its cover. Ooh, pretty. Oh, <laughs> all right, that's pretty fucking cute. Uh-oh, I think we've seen that before. Yeah, and at this point, I officially believe he is under Orbos's hallucinations. Because his parents just happened to show up in the netherworld, let alone at the Harvest Festival, let alone right in front of Iruma. <laughs> I actually like the, the decision to keep them faceless, like, or at least less features. Come on, man, fucking tell them off. They fucking deserve it. No, 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 fucking tell them off. Even if this is a hallucination, you need to fucking tell him off. Oh, shit. I didn't see that shit coming. No! Oh, little Nephila just holding, holding out its hand. Ooh, what a creepy decision to make his teeth black. Ooh, I do not like that. I don't like it. Yeah, I love what they're setting up. Iruma overcoming his trauma. Nephila, don't attack him. They'll make you forfeit. Oh, God, what a fucking cute character. <gasps> Is this part of his hallucinations? Because they're not going to fucking be here. <gasps> oh, of course this is his fucking ultimate trauma. Of course they'd fucking use this. I've been worried about this since episode fucking one, right? Fucking everyone's making an appearance here. Oh, I hate that he has to go through something like this because like I said, it's been on my mind since the fucking beginning, right? That he is pretty much living a lie, even though it's one of those noble lies, right? <laughs> but I think if he can make it past this, he'll definitely come out the other side a better, stronger person. And hopefully that'll help him eventually reveal the truth to everyone. Yeah, now he has people he cares for. He doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to be left behind. He's scared to be alone. Oh, oh, oh don't do this to me. That's a little too much. Is that ba Oh, that's Bachiko. Wait, was that part of Ouroboros' illusions? Ah, oh, shit, here we go. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> All right, that was pretty funny. Oh, so your mental and emotional state have a lot to do with magic. So basically he has to envision the perfect shot. Talk about throwing him into the fucking deep end. But I guess the best thing to do is trial by fire. So basically he has to focus on one thing. And in the present, it'd be, you know, staying with everyone, not being left alone. <laughs> well, she is the hundred bullseyes, so 99 more. That shit's just simple math. I was gonna say, that shit's pretty dark to admit. 
I like that they're showing him actually having, you know, problems with this concept. The fact that he's not just instantly, automatically just a fucking OP monster, right? Remember, he's also helping fulfill Bachika's dream as well, right? She's wanted to teach... She's wanted to pass on her teachings for fucking ever. Step one in overcoming your fear. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, they left a little red marks under his eyes to show he was crying. Ugh. Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious that the most demonic demon is actually a human? I think we can all acknowledge how important this episode truly is. I mean, how huge was watching Iruma take that first step in overcoming his fear by admitting it? I mean, it truly was an awe-inspiring moment. And while I believe this is a good trial run, we can only cross our fingers and hope he has the same conviction when he's face to face with his real friends and family and not a hallucination. One thing's for sure, the truth will eventually come out. And once again, we can only hope that much like Iruma, they will look past what he is and only focus on who he is. This episode truly was more emotional than I thought it was going to be. Fear can be a powerful motivator or the ultimate deterrent. So yeah, this episode was just an emotional roller coaster. I fucking loved it. The only part I didn't like was when Clara said, I hate you. That, that shit cut deep. Anyways, what did you guys think about this episode? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you want some more of it? Well, I do. So with all that being said and more Irumakun, I honestly cannot wait for future episodes.